hello guys uh, it's me karthik hope you guys are doing really good so today we are starting a really interesting playlist called active mq uh artemis with spring boot okay so this is comes under the java messaging platform and how we can send messages and how we can receive the messages all those things will discuss as part of this playlist okay so uh, i'll be making couple of use cases here as part of the playlist so i would highly suggest you guys to watch this entire playlist and hopefully you will learn something from this and if you like it you can like the videos and you can subscribe to my channel okay so first of all as i said this is a java messaging platform so what is mean by java messaging you know uh, systems and that is nothing but jms and what are the different terminologies being used so this you know image as you can see is a high level of the jms okay so basically like you know uh, like jms comes into picture where one application uh it depending on the other application okay so they wants to have a interaction among themselves okay so let's say like you know let's take an example of a payment systems okay so let's say like you have selected few items in the amazon and you you know uh and you clicked on the checkout okay and once you checked out you selected that payment system let's say you selected that bill uh with the help of the card okay and it will my it will read it back to that bank page okay so how the bank page will again come back to the uh you know communicating with the amazon once the payment successful it is redirecting back to amazon website right and if it is getting failed the same we do it back to amazon website with the uh, proper details how this is happening here the amazon is a one system and your bank uh, details are other systems and both are very independent to each other and both are very you know uh, deployed on a different different servers and maintained by different different teams here right so here the concept of messaging queues comes into picture where amazon will you know put a message to the uh, banking system and once the trans that message will be received by the banking system and they do that payment and once it is done then they that will be again stored i uh, know it will be returned back that message will be returned back like payment successful and you know amazon will receives that back right so here this messaging platform is nothing but a common you know application or the common memory location if i say and in a very lean terms okay so like we have a db right where this is a common application among multiple uh, multiple ports something like that right so this is also the same thing where this is where you put a message and you wait for the message to come back okay so here something like this will be there like a a producer will produce the message like you know he creates the message those are called message producers and the message consumers will be there they will receive that message okay and if you see here connection factory connection session they will create these things okay but these are all are on the java things if you do with java you have to go with these steps since we are using a spring boot framework spring boot will automatically take care of these things that you don't have to worry about that's the beauty of spring boot isn't it that's why spring boot is one of the top okay so i hope you guys understood the different terminologies here something like you know a producer these are the very very important terminology guys producer and the consumer okay producer is someone who who creates the message and consumer is someone who receives or who consumes the message in between the message and uh, you know uh, in between the producer and consumer there lies our messaging platform and over the broker there will be common url that they will share okay so as i said they will put a message right the message can be put in two formats one is in queue another one is in topic okay so 
this is what I am trying to say here. Okay, so publisher puts a message A and when it comes to topic, basically there will be multiple subscribers. Okay, subscriber is nothing but message consumer. Okay, publisher is nothing but message, you know, um, message what you call that he generates the message this one message producer okay so a in case of topic you have used so this is a selection this is up to us but most of the times we will go with the q okay that also we will discuss okay so in case of topic so the producer uh, puts a message into the topic and this topic is subscribed by multiple subscribers that is a multiple message consumers at the same time they will receive multiple messages that is where the topic comes into picture and in terms of q it is different like a only one receiver will be there so whatever the message i put in from the sender the only one receiver will be there who will receive the message back this is the difference between a producer and so this is a difference between the topic and the uh, queue okay so these are the basic terms that i want i would like to tell you guys like the sender receiver or message producer message consumer message broker broker url broker is nothing but broker url is nothing but a common url that being shared across both of them sender and receiver so that they knows that there is a message right and queue and topic okay and as i said this is a java messaging system okay and there were lots of java messaging systems being implemented okay something like this one you could see here uh, this is a official web page open mq is a oracle supported one and artemis is a apache supported one which is an advanced version of the apache active mq classic okay there were two things you could see here right there's a classic and there's a uh, artemis artemis is the you know advanced version it supports much much you know uh, better features like auto scaling more reliability you know those things we might cover we might not because let's see okay because i am also learning like you guys only okay so and there were few you know like apache kafka is there ibm web Spear is there so there were few messaging platforms okay and apache as you know apache is a open source platform where you can completely download everything for free okay so now how do i you know download so i i i hope you guys have understood the context here now we will see how to download this active mq in the windows platform and the same is applicable for other platforms as well then how to up the server that we'll see as part of this tutorial right so so simply just type active mq in the uh, google and you will come back to this page okay so active mq you come to here so here in the components you select active mq artemis you come here right now click on the download button you will download a uh, zip file guys i have already downloaded so it is something like this of 44 mb okay then you unzip that and there will be a folder got created okay i suggest you guys to do it in other folders not in downloads because you might delete it okay this is a folder okay got created now if you properly observe there's a readme file is there you don't need to depend on anyone guys you simply open the readme file and you can you know uh, you can start installing that let me open the readme file this is a file okay so let's see what how we can install in our server and how we can you know start using this so what they're doing is first create a broker broker is nothing but a, a that url okay you are well having user id and password where the sender and the receiver will communicate to each other right so let's create a broker to create a broker we need to go to the bin folder and you have to give artemis create and the broker name you wanted to okay so i have the bin folder 
from here I will open the command prompt okay then simply use Artemis create and the broker name okay so the broker name let me give something like learning MQ okay Java environment is a must guys that you need to set up okay my in case is Java I think Java 1.8 being used okay so here you could see creating Java 1.8 is a basic one and on top of this you can go on top of this like 11 13 17 anything okay creating a Artemic uh, active MQ Artemic instance at this location okay what is the default username you wanted let me give admin and what is the password you wanted what is the password you wanted let me give admin okay next allow the anonymous access let me give yes and this will create a broker for us in a two steps that's it okay now simply copy these steps guys simply copy these steps now we could see here it is saying something like this let me copy them and put it in notepad plus plus and you can you know save this at some place so that every time you are you know running you don't have to forget okay so let me save this in the same folder so let me save like Artemis this folder okay so let me give it a like you know uh, run commands now here this is my learning mq folder right this is a broker i created in that broker they are saying like go to bin artemis run okay so let me close this guy now now the broker means the folder got created this is a folder learn in, this is a folder with right? learning mq folder got created inside bin here start using artemis run this should run our artemis that means active mq artemis should start running as you could see here as i said java is a must guys okay now you could see Artemis console started running at 8161 console right so simply go here local host 8161 okay local host 8161 Eight one six one console. Okay. This should open our uh, console application. Let's see. HTTP started at eight one six one and uh, artemic console available at localhost 8161 slash console okay this should open guys let's see localhost 8161 okay localhost 8161 uh, slash console right localhost 8161 slash console we should get this now not sure why it is not coming but yeah Yeah, guys now you could see we got this right 
localhost 8161 console once you do that console this art and login will automatically come okay let me give admin as a username and password as admin okay now you could see active mq artemis is locally set up properly in our system okay i hope you guys learned something from this tutorial okay thank you so much here and i would like to say there were a few more things as part of the steps here you can install this as a you know uh, windows uh, uh, service but i would recommend not to just use this command run command okay so yeah so this is all about this tutorial guys thank you so much for watching thank you it's me karthik signing off